Please take your seats quickly, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Hi guys, and welcome to One Minute Tennis.com. In today's session, I want to talk to you about balance and about unforced errors, and about the relationship between balance and unforced errors, and how you can have better balance and less errors in your game almost immediately. Recently, one of the players that I'm working with asked a very simple question. Why does balance matter in tennis? It's not a fashion show. There are no marks for artistic merit. So why does it matter if we're balanced or out of balance? So let's give you a simple scenario. If you were, I don't know, shooting a bow and arrow or a gun, and suddenly there was an earthquake and the whole ground is moving around you, are you going to have an accurate shot or are you going to have an inaccurate shot? Are you going to be in control or are you going to be out of control? Only when we have balance are we in real control and do we have real accuracy. But how do we establish balance in our game? And I think initially we have to understand that there are three forms of balance. There is perfect balance, imbalance and out of balance. Now some players are truly gifted. Roger Federer, a lot of the time when he plays, is in truly perfect balance. It looks like ballet. Sometimes he leaves a clay court and his shoes and socks are hardly dirty. And yet you see phenomenal players, obviously the best and all Rafa, and there's clay everywhere. But this is Roger's gift. He has incredible balance, perfect balance. But I'm assuming that I'm talking to people who don't have perfect balance and don't play like Roger Federer. So let's look at the two stages of balance, in balance and out of balance. If I play a stroke and after the stroke, I do not have to move my feet, then I am by nature in balance. If I play the stroke and I have to move my feet, right? I have no choice. Well, I guess you could say I've got a choice. I could have fallen down, but except for the choice of falling down, I had no choice but to make that step. So if we hit the ball where we don't have to move our feet, then we are in balance. And if we hit the ball and then are forced to move our feet, then by nature, we're out of balance. So to find balance, I suggest that you hit the ball and then freeze and don't move your feet for about one second. Now I need to clarify, that does not mean that moving your feet when hitting the ball is a bad thing. Almost every professional player does it deliberately, but they're not doing it to avoid being out of balance. They're doing it to generate a tiny bit more power into their strokes. But for most of the players watching this, the problem is not getting 2% more power. The problem is hitting the ball accurately and making less mistakes. And so if you have like simple drills to begin with, with somebody feeding you balls and you simply move out to the ball, hit the ball, and then for one second, you don't move your feet. If you hit the ball and you have to move your feet to avoid falling over, you're out of balance. Keep repeating this over and over again until you can hit every single ball in balance with the feet under control, the body under control, and the ball under control. And then as you're rallying, start to rally, trying to keep the ball under control by keeping your balance under control. Remember, three stages of balance. Perfect balance, we don't have to worry about that. In balance or out of balance. Make sure that you're in balance and your errors will go down dramatically and your accuracy will increase enormously. I hope this makes sense and I'd love to know your thoughts on balance. If you want to practice this, then talk to our partners, playyourcourt.com, the links above and they'll find practice partners for you in your local area, or they'll send professional tennis coaches to your local court. It's a great service. The information on their membership is in the comments section below with a huge discount. And if you like our ideas and want to take your game to the next level, have a look at what online coaching can do for you. The information's in the website below, or you can email us for more details. We're helping players of all ages, all levels, and all over the world. So remember to reduce errors, to increase accuracy, to play better tennis, stay in balance, and you'll play better tennis today. Thanks for watching and see you next time for more unique tennis lessons that really work.